Larry Verga from Eastcom Associates, the area representatives for radio detection, the manufacturer of a product called the CAT. We're here today to review the operation of the CAT, and I'd like to review its features and the functions of the, the tool. Uh, the CAT has a number of controls. This yellow switch adjusts the mode that the CAT is in, and this blue knob controls the sensitivity of the product. The cat is designed to be held in front of the body and swung from side to side in this manner. Also the cat has a built-in speaker. The speaker can unscrew and be held close to your ear to use it as a headset or a headphone. The yellow switch on the cat will set the modes of operation. The modes can be A, the avoidance scan mode, Jenny, to be used with the optional signal transmitter, radio, to pick up stray radio frequency signals, or power, to pick up live power lines. When used in the avoidance scan mode, the cat will pick up any of those modes at the same time or by switching to a specific mode like the power mode the cat will identify strictly the live power lines. The cat got its name CAT from Cable Avoidance Tool and that's the application that we're going to review here now. The first and recommended process would be to set the cat into the avoidance mode. And see, I'm, I'm setting the switch to the A position. I'm going to use the cat in the area or proposed area of excavation. By pulling the trigger, I turn the cat on. And then swinging the cat through the suspected area, I'm listening for a sound to indicate the presence of utility lines. Now that I know there are utility lines in the area, I can switch to one of the other modes, as an example, the power mode, turning the cat on, and then swinging through the area, adjusting the sensitivity. to identify a live power line. The location of the power line is specified by the cat's audible response over the target. I'm then also able to switch to the radio mode to identify the presence of communication lines. The orientation of the blade of the cat is designed to cross the path of suspected utility lines, held in front of the body and swung from side to side. Not oriented in this manner, but instead so the antenna blade crosses the path of the utility lines. That's been a brief overview of the operation of the CAT as it applies to using the CAT as an avoidance tool in an area of excavation. A few more points to, to hone in on. The batteries are located here under this cover. There are two D-cell batteries. The CAT is only on when the blue trigger is pulled up. The blue knob should be used to turn to adjust the sensitivity of the cat as you scan through an area. You want the sensitivity high enough to pick up any signals that might be present, but low enough so that you can identify exactly where they're coming from. And again, the yellow switch is moved from position to position to indicate whether the cat is used strictly in the avoidance mode or one of the more specific modes like power or radio. Whenever in doubt, the instructions for utilizing the CAT are here on the back side of the CAT tool.
Again, I'm Larry Verger with Eastcom Associates, and I hope this brief overview is helpful. Thank you.